Hi students, the goal of this video is to introduce the Trilobite assignment and to talk about some new software we'll be using which is called Blender. Trilobites were creatures that lived uh, before most dinosaurs, between about 500 million and 280 million years ago. They were like little crustaceans that crawled on the ocean floor. Uh, in this assignment, you'll be in the role of the paleontologist, a, science who, a scientist who studies fossils. Uh, and you'll be doing what paleontologists have been doing for hundreds of years. You'll be looking at a fossil and then trying to create um, a impression of that or a 3D model of that um, fossil, what it may have looked like, so then other people can understand um, what these creatures may have been like. The software that we'll be using is called Blender. Now we may have seen some other computer aided design software already that was a little bit different than what you can see on the screen. Uh, something like Fusion 360 or Tinkercad, it's more mechanical. It's used more for say designing buildings or bridges. Blender, as you can see, is more free form. It's more for say creating animations. Think of movies like the Toy Story movies or the Lego movies. We'll be using Blender, like I said, to create our 3D model. And we use Blender and not other software because we really need this free form shape that it can help us create. Once we've made that 3D model, we can then use um, our 3D printer to print the model and then other people can identify what that fossil would have looked like. Uh, 3D printing, it's, new so it's, it's a new technology, but for hundreds of years, uh, paleontologists would have either been using clay models or artistic paintings to convey what those fossils would have looked like in a 3D form. Here are some examples that we've done in previous years, but before you get to this level, uh, we need to learn the basics of the Blender software. So we're going to be creating something a little bit easier today just to get to know the different functions of the software, we're going to be creating this face, or you can create any face you like, as long as you're learning the basics of the software. So that will be creating basic shapes uh, and sculpting different parts onto the shape and even sculpting parts out of the shape. Once you learn these basics, we can go to something more technical like the trilobite here you can see on the screen. Okay, let's get into the software. Okay students, so now we're in the Blender software and you can see an example of the basic shape that I want you to create today, which is just, just a face. And it could be any face you want as long, long as you're learning the basics of the Blender software. Once we learn um, these basic um, functions, that is creating uh, a new mesh and then sculpting different shapes into it or out of it, you will then proceed into learning how to do something more detailed, which is the trilobites that we'll be learning in this assignment. So I'll just bring up um, a trilobite that I've created earlier. So here we go. So once we learn the basics and you have your fossils that you can identify, you'll be learning to um, sculpt one of, um, one of these creatures here. Uh, if you get more developed, you might even take that up to something even more complicated, which might be um, creating more of a scene like this, where you can start doing some animations or photos of your objects. But first, we're just going to learn how to do the basic face like this. So once you open up your software, it's just a matter of going, going file new. Okay. So this is what you'll always see when you enter in to the Blender software. Um, I'm just rotating and zooming by using my uh, touchpad on my Mac. Um, if you're finding that it's really hard to zoom, um, pan, and uh, rotate, I suggest that you use a mouse. And we'll have some, we'll have a box of mice in in, in the STEM room. So please ask ask to use one if you need one. So I'm just using the touchpad there to zoom in and out. Every time you open Blender, you will see this cube. They will give you this cube every time and we'll delete it today because we don't need it. You will notice that there's lots of different tools um, around the, the Blender window. We're not going to be using a lot of them today. We're just going to be concentrating on a few 
and that will be creating meshes and then sculpting onto that mesh. So this cube isn't really going to help us today because we're doing um, a head, a human head, not not something that's a box shape. So I want to delete this. Um, to delete it, make sure, and this is a really key area to learn that you're on object mode. So if I click there, you can see there's all these different modes that we can be in on, but I just want object mode. So I'm going to click on that object and to delete something, I'm going to hit X. So that's X on your keyboard, not the delete key, X. And I'm just going to say, uh, yes, delete that. Okay. So now we have um, a clean workspace and to start designing that human head, we're going to start with um, a basic shape and they're called meshes. So I'm going to go add and then mesh. Here's some basic shapes that we can add. So you can see the cube that I would have just deleted, but we want the UV sphere because that's what we're going to use to start designing our head. So if I hit that and you can see, great, I've started designing already. Now you'll notice the detail of the um, sphere. It's quite boxy. It's got all these faces there. There's a reason for that. It, it takes a lot of uh, processing power to run this software. So rather than doing a really detailed shape, it will start with something uh, less refined, less resolution with all these boxes. But that's not going to help us design our trilobite. So the first thing I want to do is smooth this shape out. I want it um, as smooth as possible to start designing. Now we can't do that in the object mode. We have to do that in the edit mode. So I'm going to go into the edit mode. And you can see straight away those boxes are highlighted. Over here on the left are a lot of different functions. And I want to click subdivide. And that what that will do, it will divide all these faces up so I can smooth it out. So I'm going to go subdivide. And straight away, it's divided all those squares uh, into four. I'll probably need to click it a couple more times to get more faces. But if I zoom in, you can see that even though these faces have been subdivided many more times, they're still not quite smooth. So above the subdivide up here, you can see smooth vertex. So let's click that and you can see straight away it starts moving. I'm going to click it a few more times. Uh, I'm going to really smooth this guy out. It's looking still a bit boxy. Now, just a word of warning, the more times you subdivide and the more times you smooth uh, the, the mesh, the more processing speed it's going to need processing power it's going to need on your computer. So if you do have an older computer or a computer with not much processing power, you may find that you can't smooth it out too much because your computer might lag a bit. Just start trying and see what you need to do to get it to work best on your computer. But I'm happy with that. I might just move it one more time. Um, so I can now get out of the edit mode. I don't want to see this mesh. So I'm going to go back uh, to the object mode and you can see straight away it's looking a lot better. Once you finish creating your part, you can smooth again. So if you still think it's not smooth enough, you can do that at the very end. Okay, now that we've got that, one thing you'll need to be able to do is to move your object and rotate your mesh around. So why it's on object mode, I want you to pay attention to the three translate features over here. Okay, so if I click that one there, sorry. The first one is just to move um, your object around the screen. And you'll have these three arrows here. So you'll have a Y, an X, and a Z. So if I want to move it on the Y, I can just grab that arrow and move it along. And it'll move only along that axis. And same again for the X, and same again for the Z. So that's one way you can move it around. Now, if I want to rotate, I'll, I'll select the very next one here. And you can see straight away it changes a little and I can start rotating that around now. So if I was doing an animation for a ball rolling down the street, that would be a feature that I would need. Just move that back. And the final one will stretch the object in one particular direction. So if I choose the final one there and I grab the Z, you can see it starts stretching out. 
and I can choose the other way as well. Now, this is quite handy that I have this up here now because the human head that we designed before isn't quite a perfect ball or perfect sphere. It is more of an oval sort of shape. So I'm going to start designing my face now and I'm just going to push that up. Um, I'm probably going to squash him back a bit that way. And how fat do I want this head? Probably about there. So more of an egg shape, which is what I'm going to use to start designing my face. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to leave the object mode. I'm not going to go to edit mode. I'm going to go to the sculpt mode. And that's quite an important one to learn for this assignment. So I'm going to go to the sculpt mode. And straight away up here, I have all these different functions um, to be able to start sculpting. This first one here is all the different tools that I can use to sculpt. So they'll just sculpt different shapes. But I am just start with the F sculpt. And this one here is the size of the sculpt, which I'll get into in a minute. Uh, and this here is add or subtract. Do I want to add material, like in this diagram here, or do I want to subtract material? Uh, one Before I start sculpting, one more very important feature is the symmetry. Uh, sculpting in symmetry allows you to sculpt in a mirror plane. So this is, uh, the symmetry is set to X. So if I just start sculpting here, I'll just spin that around. You can see it works as a mirror. So the X mirror would be down there. If I was to select Y or Z and I started sculpting here, it would start sculpting on the other side. But for this assignment, I want to start using X. Very good function for, for when designing a human face because it's symmetrical and it'll be very important for the trilobites as well. Okay, so now that I have the sculpting brush that I want, the size, that I want, and it's in symmetry to X, I'm gonna start designing the eyes. So I'm gonna start, I oh know it's a bit close together, I'll just hit undo, let's just control Z. And there we go. And there's my eyes there. Uh, I'll start designing a nose, and you can see as I just run my mouse along, it will just start adding material to the sphere. So this is how we start designing our face. Now if I just look from the side, I think that nose is a bit flat. So I'm gonna start adding material like that. Still a bit of a funny nose, so just keep building it up like that till you get the shape that you want. It's a bit of a funny shape. Okay, now I'll start designing the mouth. So I want to put some, some lips on this person. And it's starting to look like our, the shape that we want. And there we go, there's our lips there. Um, what else do we need? I might start putting, um, while I've got this brush on, I might start doing the hair. And straight away, that will start building up. So I'm adding material. And everything I add on one side, because I'm using the X symmetry tool, it will start adding on the other side. So I'll just keep adding material. Okay, so how are we looking there? Okay, starting to make a good start there I might get some now I might start the eyebrows but I'm going to change the size of my brush because I'm thinking it's a bit it's a bit big at the moment and I might change that to 25 so that would oops, sorry so I've just taken the brush down a bit and you can see what I've done there I've just and it just looks a bit thinner there um, and I'll go down one more size again so I might go down to 15 and I might do just 
some wrinkles on the top of the, the forehead. Now, that's still looking uh, a little bit, a little bit boxy for me. So what I might do, I can leave sculpt mode and go back to the edit mode and I can smooth it some more. So I'll just hit that a couple of times. Let's go back to sculpt mode and that's just tidied that up a bit there. Now I want to add the ears and I don't want to be there forever. So I'm going to go back to 35. And let's add in some ears. Oh, I'll get some big ears there. Always look. No, they're, they're looking a bit shallow for me, so I'm going to add a bit more material. Always look from every angle to see how it's looking. Okay, yep. And okay, getting a good shape there. Now we've done a lot of adding, but you also need to learn how to subtract in the sculpt function. So I'm going to hit subtract there uh, and I'll probably take this down to 25 and I might start removing some material. So I might just start there just with the eyeballs and the nostrils as well. And I'll go inside the ear as well. Okay. So you can see how we can use, I might just do inside the mouth as well. And I'm still not quite happy, so I'm gonna go back to edit mode. I'm gonna subdivide one more time just to try and improve that smoothing. And I can see it's taking a long time to smooth now, so I'm really using the processing power of the computer. Okay, that's looking a lot better now. So now I've got a nice smooth shape. It will take longer to um, sculpt, but the results are a lot better. Okay, so there's the mouth there. Okay, so we've got the basic shape that we wanted. Um, don't be afraid to change brushes. Uh, and I want you to experiment with these different brushes. So this one here is good for flattening out. So I might just use this. Uh, now what size is that? I might change that to 35. And I can use that just to put a little flat shape down the bottom. So if I did 3D print this, it might sit on the table a bit better. Um, but lots of different brushes there for you to experiment with. Um, if I chose this one, what's that going to do? Um, might give it some bigger eyebrows there. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so that is everything in Sculpt Tool. But just one last thing before I go. I want to go back to Object Mode. And you can imagine if you're... Um, doing a scene where you need to have different objects, you can have more than one object. So we've just got one object at the moment. So remember to add different objects and to start editing those objects, we just go to add and we go to mesh, that first one there. Now I'm gonna add a torus, which is a donut-like shape. Well, that's quite big. Wasn't expecting it that big. Okay, and remember we can, I'm still in object mode. I'm just going to use this feature here to Move it out of the way. Uh, okay. So come over here, Taurus. And that one's to rotate it, but I want to. Oh, no. Just trying to get it a bit smaller. And I'm just going to move him out so I can see him. And still going. Oh, no, I don't want to rotate. I want to. Make it much, much smaller. Okay, so how big is that? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give him an earring. I'm just gonna give him the one. So this is something that we wouldn't do in the symmetrical sculpt feature because we just wanna do it on the one side. 
All right, let's move that up. Cross. So remember to move. I'm just using this translate feature down there. I'm just going to now still not quite right. A bit low. And he's nearly in. Okay, so he's got his earring there as well. If you want to edit, go back to editing this object, I want you to look up here. This is the scene section and you can select the different um, objects in the scene. So you can see the torus is selected. Um, if you don't use this feature, you wouldn't be able to go back and edit this. So I'm just going to hit the sphere and you can see that uh, my face is now ready to be edited again. So that's a really important feature to learn. Otherwise you won't remember, you won't be able to go back. Okay, so that's your task for today is to learn how to um, sculpt a human head in Blender. Just some things to remember, uh, the object mode, the edit mode to um, subdivide and smooth, the sculpt mode to add add and subtract features and remember in object mode it was the add mesh where we added our sphere and our torus. All right, good luck um, designing your first shape in Blender.